in pedagogy of science in the BA second semester the question is given as define scientific attitude discuss various qualities of a person who possesses scientific attitude let us first define scientific attitude generally scientific attitudes are dispositions such as tolerance for the view of others objectivity and suspended judgment here scientific attitude includes a desirable style of thinking which leads to objectivity sensitive curiosity intellectual honesty and adequate curiosity for possible options what are the qualities a good scientist should possess First of all, a scientist must be curious about the world. Curiosity enables a scientist to try to discover more about the things around him or her. Now, for example, if you take Galileo Galilei's curiosity about the heavenly bodies made him the first person to use a telescope to study the moon, the sun, the planets and the stars. Second quality is a scientist is logical and systematic the attitude enables a scientist to plan his or her work in a orderly or in a systematic way take an example among the reasons why gregor mendel discovered the principles of heredity when others have failed was his logical experimental methods and his careful and accurate record keeping third one a scientist is open minded and free of bias open mindedness is an attitude that allows a scientist to look at other possibilities take the example an open minded person is one who can modify plans or discard hypotheses if necessary one such person was johannes kepler who was hired to develop evidence that planets moved along perfect circles so sometimes you need to be open minded so that you can modify your plans or you can even discard them or you can just say that okay this hypothesis does not agree so i will discard and try it again in the next one so in the fourth quality is a scientist is intellectually honest this attitude allows a scientist to recognize the work done by other scientists before him or her this attitude is also shown by reporting data truthfully take an example isaac newton built his laws of motion on the previous work of galileo and others so the scientist needs to be very honest he need to recognize the work which was done by the other scientists previously and then he can build upon the work of the other scientist fifth a scientist works hard and is persistent this attitude enables a scientist to continue with the project despite obstacles and failures take an example marie curie was the first person ever to be awarded the nobel prize twice it was not surprising considering how hard she worked now persistent which means you need to persevere in whatever work you are doing there will be so many obstacles failures will be there but we need to remember that these failures are the stepping stones to success sixth a scientist does not jump to conclusions this attitude enables the scientist to withhold his or her judgment until the test have been completed this means that scientists do not accept ideas until after an exhaustive investigation has been performed take an example john dalton's atomic theory was backed by experimental evidence he was not the first to propose that the atom was the smallest particle of matter but he was the first to use experimental evidence to support his theory so need not jump to conclusions immediately we need to withhold some of the things do more and more investigation or do the more study over that and then conclude whatever we need to conclude seventh one 
A scientist is a creative and critical thinker. Being creative enables a scientist to come up with new concepts which lead to discoveries that traditional scientists have overlooked. Example, Albert Einstein was able to derive his theory of relativity because he went beyond what was given and known at that time. He saw links and connections where others did not. He looked at things from different perspectives. So we need to be very very creative and critical thinker. Not just like a frog in the well but we need to have a broad vision, a broad thinking so that what others have not gone to that we can also go beyond the things a scientist need this quality in order to succeed in his work. Eighth, a scientist is rational. Dr. Ricardo Lentican is a Filipino scientist who is an expert in the field of plant breeding. He recognized the need to address to the worldwide problem of food sufficiency. With this goal in mind, he developed ways to improve the growth of different varieties of plants in the Philippines and other countries of East and South Asia. One of his important works is a research study on the cytoplasmic inheritance of hypersensitivity to a disease in corn. So this cytoplasmic inheritance, it is uh, the inheritance of uh, organelle DNA from the parents. It differs from plain old nuclear genetics because it does not follow the laws of gene inheritance which state that half of the genes will come from each parent. So it uh, commonly occurs in cytoplasmic organelles such as uh, mitochondria and chloroplast or from cellular parasites like viruses or bacteria. Ninth, a scientist is willing to suspend judgment until he is sure of his results. For five decades, Dr. Luz Oliveros Bellardo pursued her research on natural products and Philippine essential oils. Through her logical and systematic study, more natural products were developed and herbal medications were further improved. She continued her work until satisfactory results were attained. So for sometimes, whatever the work has been carried out, a scientist will withhold with, from it, which means he will suspend his judgment, he is willing to suspend the judgment till he gets the sure results. Tenth, a scientist tries new approaches to arrive at solutions. Almost every day, advances in science and technology enable people to improve ways of doing things. From these new ideas and concepts, a scientist is able to determine what methods or techniques are best adopted. So in order to, uh, to reach the new approaches or at the solutions, we need to see update us, update ourselves in order to get the good results. In addition, for a scientist it is fine to have an idea about how and why something is the way it is but the scientist should then seek to prove or disprove this hypothesis and should then be willing to change their ideas depending on the results of their experiments rather than to continue believing in their original idea even if the evidence of their experiments is sticking up against it. So they need to have the other qualities like keen observer, creative, patient, curious, humble, intellectually honest, objective, aware of the limitations of science, persevering and open-minded.